Hello my fellow crustaceans and welcome to a brand new series. This time we are playing Lifeless Planet. This is uh, pretty new I think and it looked really interesting. You've seen the trailer already so let's just jump right in. Uh, the first place, the landing site. The way she used to smile. She would keep going, the kindness in her voice, I can't give up hope. That's a loading screen. Okay. Five, four, three, two, two one, and a half. That's not normal, that is a really fast exit. Whoa. Which I only know from Kerbal Space Program, so... Those are stars going past. Again, not normal, but... They did say light speed or faster or something. Holy shit, how did we slow down like that? Alright. Well, we're there. That doesn't sound good. It wasn't good. Saving. Hmm. So this is us. We're an astronaut. From America, it looks like. Got that little American flag. Bit hard to see, but hey. Head is killing me. It feels like I have a concussion. And where's my crew? Kind of strange that there's a voice there, but it's not reading this. But I can read it. Whatever. My head is foggy. The sound of my breath puffing in my helmet is hollow and distant. It's hard to tell how long I've been unconscious, and I'm worried that I might have a concussion. I wish I could lay down, lay back down and rest, see if the pain passes, but the situation is far too critical. To call that a hard landing would be kind. We crashed. Maybe the eggheads miscalculated the trajectory, or maybe we just hit a spell of bad luck. Whatever the case may be, this is not the paradise they described to us back home. There's no lush greenery, there's no sun of life at all. And where's my crew? I hope that they're just securing the perimeter, and I was only out for a few minutes. I need to find them, get their status, and figure out what the heck just happened. Crap, and I need to do it before I run out of air. Okay, I was gonna say, like, there's deserts on Earth, so that might just be that. But if there's no air, that's kinda bad. Let's go this way. Follow a path. I wonder what this is. Big rock. Such beautiful, luscious scenery. Crap, an oxygen leak. That's not good. Hey, a shiny. Oxygen leak, shiny thing. I know which is more important. Oh wow, I'm running out fast. Um. Okay. Let's just go. This is totally blind, by the way. Uh, my other series I have played through before. Hey, eight hours remaining. That's great. My other series, this is just labeled oxygen. That's kind of weird. Oxygen, supply of you. I've totally lost track of my thoughts. Other series I've played through generally, at least mostly before I recorded it. But this one, I have no idea what's going on. I've already passed what I've played. So, Oxygen Supply Vehicle, Model 8A. These supply vehicles will be sent to the planet three days in advance of the landing party to provide for longer excursions on the planet's surface. However, because unmanned probes have determined the planet is rich with life and oxygen, planets on, oxygen levels on the planet, there we go, English, are at near-Earth levels, these supply vehicles may not be needed. Apparently, you were wrong. Path seems to go this way. Let's see what happens. Giant ass rocks. Mysterious noises. These things can only be good. I understand that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically. That doesn't sound fun. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? 
Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. Sounds lovely. To be honest, this is running a little jerkier than I'd like, so I may turn the graphics down later. But, that's nothing terrible. I'll leave it alone for now. Jump. Nice. Foothills. Save. Hmm. So, didn't he say he had an oxygen leak? I feel like that would, uh, still be, you know, happening. Oh, jeez. Well, shit. S is nicht gut. That's German for that's not good, by the way. <laughs> hmm. This is not the path I was expecting to take. Liquid? Well, it's not melting me, so liquid water. Interesting. But no air. At least my jetpack works. Well, mostly. Well, mostly. Everything about this mission is a disaster so far. The lander took a beating, and with it most of my equipment. My suit is functional, but barely. Jetpack can still put out a short burst, which is useful for short jumps. A single burst, which is useful for short jumps. I find I get the most distance when I trigger the burst at the top of my jumps. Makes sense. Wasn't there another one? Or what are these tabs? Docs! Okay, so documentation for things. Welcome to this device, that's fine, and I guess science. Hmm. How do, how do I use the jetpack? I'll just check the con whoop, check the controls really fast. Tablet, walk, flashlight, blah blah blah. Maybe. Yep, just jump again. Okay. Not quite. Interesting. This is a little hard to control. Let's see, can I zoom in? No, I can't. That's great. I was following a track I left behind by my crew, but got separated from their trail. Hopefully I can make my way around. In the meantime, I can't understand why this planet is so barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive this planet was rich with life. So where did it go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity. Considering we came here faster than light, but light doesn't... I would think that means that it's possible that it all just died. I don't know I don't know why that would happen, but that's a perfectly valid uh, observation, except that there's green up there, which is almost certainly life. Looks like I need to go over there. And I mean, there's liquid water, so something lives here. Or, kind of. I don't think I can go that way yet. Like, it's totally possible for things to live here, at least. Oh no. God damn it. Kind of overshot. Let's try aiming at it next time so it stops us. La -da -da. Okay, jump straight at it. Why would I push this? I mean, now I've got it down there. I don't know why I need it down there. 
So we came up and around in this way. Maybe... Why can't I push it anymore? There we go. Interesting water physics around that rock. Come on. Get moved. That's not quite what I wanted. There we go. I need to get up there somehow. Well, I just did. Thanks for the commentary. That's my job, though. Let's see what's going on. I'm not sure if this is a new valley, but it saved, so I'm guessing yes. Interesting rock formations. No, I happen to know just offhand, actually, that that kind of thing does only happen from water. Really? So... Yeah, and a waterfall. I think there's some kind of tide or something. This is... Also, I'm walking in water when I'm not. Let's... That's a little strange. But this place has... Oh, it's uranium. I think. No, that's... That is life. I think. Yeah, I think that's something alive. I don't know what it is, though. Looks kind of like rocks. So let's climb up a waterfall. Alright, that's really annoying me. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can get that to go away. Alright, I'm back. And... I got the glitch to stop. I turned the graphics down a little bit too, so hopefully that runs a little smoother. Two paths. Which one do I take? Go this way. Alright, uh, looks like I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. Cool, but, I mean, that was life, right? Was that not life? I think that was life. So cool, populated planet, not quite as populated as we thought, I guess. But like I said, we could have just landed in the Sahara analog. Another oxygen thing. Strange noises. Hmm. No, that's not an oxygen thing, that's a bed. Oh shit. That's a hallucination bed. That's gonna hit me. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Okay, dodge it, holy shit. The fuck? Why was there a bed there? And why did it disappear? I suppose the better question is, why am I hallucinating? A book? What does that say? Whoa!